Good day everyone, my name is Andrew Friska and I'm an extension plant pathologist and associate professor in the Department of Plant Pathology at North Dakota State University. My role in agriculture is to find ex extension driven solutions through applied research that we conduct out in the field to provide those useful information put it back into the hands of the growers. When we think about plant diseases in my area of expertise, we can use wheat as a perfect example. We have diseases that impact the roots, we have them that impact the leaves, we also have those that impact the head of wheat. And arguably the ones that hit, hit the head of the wheat are the ones that we're most worried about because that can impact the kernel, which in turn can reduce our ability to have profitable and sustainable farms, but also re on the consumer level, reduce our ability to have a safe and abundant food supply. What a grower wants to achieve each year is a well-rounded, robust, and high-quality hybrid spring wheat crop. However, we have two head diseases that can reduce yield and quality of the crop. One disease known as Fusarium head blight, also known as scab, can reduce farmer profitability and the pathogen produces a mycotoxin that reduces the quality of that grain that is difficult to process on, at the end scale. When you think about ergot, another head disease, these black bodies that you see in this grain are the ones that contain alkaloids, which again reduces the quality of the crop and can reduce our ability to produce a safe and abundant food supply. Through the funded research that we're able to conduct at the Ag Experiment Station and at the RECs across North Dakota, we're able to find that applied research that farmers can directly use. And the way that we get that research into the growers' hands is using our county-based system to give them that information so they can have that profitable farm and enhance our ability to produce a safe and abundant food product. So next time when you're eating that plate of food, I want you to thank science for the, all that goes into the production of that. Thank you for your time, and if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to me. Hello, I'm Brett Webb from the Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory. The Diagnostic Laboratory is part of the Agricultural Experiment Station and is located at the main station in Fargo. The laboratory is unique in that contrary to other units in the Experiment Station, its focus is not research, but rather providing services to the state. The laboratory has four specially trained board certified veterinarians and 17 technical staff who collectively conduct over 100,000 tests annually. The laboratory is full service, accredited for all species by the American Association of Veterinary Laboratory Diagnosticians, and is a member laboratory of the USDA's National Animal Health Laboratory Network. The lab's central mission is to protect both animal and human health within the state by providing high quality, reliable testing and diagnostic support services to veterinarians animal owners, producers, and the public. It accomplishes this mission through three main activities. Firstly, conducting an ev evaluations and tests to determine the cause of livestock disease and death loss so that management changes or therapy can be initiated to alleviate these losses. Secondly, protecting North Dakota herds and flocks by screening for economically devastating foreign animal diseases, such as foot and mouth disease. And lastly, the lab tests for over 20 diseases that are transmissible from animals to humans, and is the only entity in North Dakota currently conducting rabies testing. The lab has also been testing human samples for COVID-19 to aid the state's effort in combating the global pandemic. At the end of the day, it comes down to helping producers improve the health of their animals so they can raise a high quality protein source that are safe, nutritious, and nationally competitive. This ensures animal agriculture in North Dakota is an economic engine that benefits all North Dakotans. In summary, the Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory plays a critical role in safeguarding both animal and human health. Thank you for your time. I'm Gerald Stucka. I'm the Extension Veterinarian and Livestock Stewardship Specialist at NDSU. Our efforts in Extension have focused on stewardship, on animal health and animal well-being. The definition of stewardship is the careful and responsible management of things entrusted to one's care. So our focus is on livestock, primarily cattle, on the land and water resources that are utilized, and on the people that manage them, and ultimately on those that utilize products of animal origin. We're working to connect that bridge between production and consumption. We're focused on animal health and animal well-being by incorporating a systems approach. This means the looking at the impact of genetic selection on the environment, on nutrition, on animal handling, on vaccine use that are used to improve animal health and animal well-being. 
While our focus is on animal health, sometimes illness occurs and, and treatment is, is necessary. Our efforts here have been on the judicious use of antibiotics, which means their use is predicated on a need, a proper diagnosis, the, the correct antibiotic, the correct dose, and observing the correct withdrawal time for meat and or milk. In addition, we have communicated the proper use of feed grade antibiotics, now known as the VFD or the Veterinary Feed Directive, and the VCPR, which is known as the Veterinary Client-Patient Relationship. And this underscores the need for veterinary professionals in our rural communities. We also initiated the Stop the Truck campaign, which is a reminder to our producers to observe withdrawal times before animals leave the ranch or farm. The tagline for this initiative is healthy cattle, healthy beef, healthy people. Thank you.